Can you rely on the findings of clinical studies that are reported in the news? Even if you read the actual study, you're going to find that there's something odd going on. And that is, there is wild exaggeration of the benefits of both prescription drugs and medical procedures. Imagine you went to a stockbroker and the stockbroker said, uh, Sir, we can return 36% per year on your money. You would probably say, wow, you know, I, I, I thought 8% a year was really great. That would, that would get my retirement account really big. But 36%? That's unheard of. Sign me up, right? A year later, you find out he only made 1%. You'd be upset, wouldn't you? But that's how the medical literature is reported. A 1% benefit typically is reported as something like 36%. So the benefits are exaggerated, 30-fold is very typical. And this is because of a very misleading statistical manipulation called a relative risk calculation. Now I go into the math of that calculation in the undoctored book, so I invite you to take a look at that calculation. A little bit too much to go into verbally right now, but suffice to say that the medical literature commonly, frequently, wildly exaggerates the benefits of various drugs and procedures by using this very misleading statistical manipulation called relative risk that typically exaggerates benefits 30-fold, sometimes more. So you're told, for instance, statin drugs reduce heart attack by 36 or 42 percent. That's not true. That's a relative risk calculation. The actual benefit is a percent, maybe. Best case scenario, 2 percent, maybe often zero, yet you hear headlines that say drug X reduces heart attack by 36%. What does your doctor hear? What do you hear when your doctor tells you this? The doctor hears this drug reduces heart attacks. If there's going to be 100 heart attacks, 36 will not occur. But that's not what the science says. It says of 100 heart attacks, maybe one will not occur. And even then it's in question, because often these studies are paid for by the drug industry, right? So if a manufacturer pays for its own studies, that study almost always comes out in favor of the manufacturer. So be very skeptical of what you're told by any doctor in any advertisement about the benefits of any drug procedure, because typically, frequently, the benefits are wildly exaggerated, often not even true.